Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface, Elden Rang. <laughs> okay, I don't think uh, if you've been watching my channel recently, you're in any doubt that I'm absolutely loving this game. I pumped around about 65 hours or so into it, and half of that I think I've live streamed here on youtube for you guys and gals and i've just i've just been blown away and and one of the reasons why i'm so happy about elden ring is i love from software games i'm not the best at them at all Soulsborne games uh you know i've gone through them all demon souls dark souls bloodborne sekiro and I've had varying differ, uh, differing uh, successes with them. I've tended to get reasonably far with the games. Uh, if not, finish them though. Uh, and that's sort of my lot. However, with Sekiro, I really wanted to, to get into that because I love the feudal Japan aesthetic. Uh, but I just could not get to grips with the gaming system and instead of blaming the game for that, I know that's me. I know that's me, and I just gotta, I just gotta work on getting that. So, at some point, I will probably go back and revisit uh, Sekiro. And so, when Elden Ring was announced, I was excited and also sort of uh as well because I was excited for another From Software Soulsborne game, and in the same breath sort of nervous thinking ah, i wonder how far i'll get i wonder how long it'll be until i you know dip out and then we had all these details about open world and multiplayer uh i know that this will annoy some people um some but some people were happy with the involvement of george rr R. martin rr R. 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 martin uh whereas other people would be like that bitch needs to finish his book and then he's got another one to write after that. So it's never going to happen. Uh, but there was a lot of, of, of positivity. A lot of buzz about the game. A lot of excitement. And because we've been in a... I think we've been in a, a bit of a drought recently when it's come to, to video games. To me, it just seems all annual franchises, sequels, remakes, prequels. You know. And I, and I just... I just wanted something different and this was a soulsborn game that was looking to offer something potentially different so the game came out and i was just thrilled with it mainly because because of the freedom with the open world to go where you want uh, fight who you want die to who you want 86 87 bosses or something in the game in total even if you got stuck on a certain boss you could go and explore and all kinds of things find better gear uh farm some runes get better armor find some spells get your all this sort of gubbins and when I came across my final first boss on my first day and I, I immediately I kind of walked in and got killed by it. And I was sort of like, oh, it's going to be like that. But the chat perked me up and they're like, come on, persist. Come on, you can do this. Come on. And I got, you know, I got a little bit of a shoulder massage from the chat. And after about eight attempts, I think, on the very first boss that I, uh, I fought against, I killed it. And then suddenly I was kind of like, okay okay mate you know that's the first victory and ever since then it just it just gave me that little bit more confidence and i've been exploring all over this world just having an incredible time and i found uh yeah there's been a couple of glitches but i'm playing on i'm playing on pc but literally the glitches that i've had was the first one was on the day one and I got about five minutes of a little bit of stuttering, and that was it. Other than that, it's been fine since then. And then I think on the second day, I was uh, disconnected twice throughout the course of the day. Since then, 
Nothing. Since then, my my game has been has been fantastic in terms of performance, and the world looks incredible, looks beautiful. It's amazing to traverse. It's got such a in amazing verticality. You can you can go to the heights of a mountain, and you can go in, into the depths of the earth, which I just discovered as well, like proper depths of the earth as well. And, and it just has a, such an exciting combat system. And I'm going to use the word. I'm going to use the word. A very accessible. Yes. It's very accessible. Combat system. I think for people who have been nervous about Dark Souls games. This is the perfect one for you. Because you can see the struggle of the bosses. But you can also learn how to fight in the open world and get stronger and get better gear and get better magic and find a play style, a fighting style that suits you. Which is what I've which is what I've done. And I, at 60, like I said, 65 hours five hours in, I'm an, I'm having a gay old time. And Mauler said to me the other day, he said. How long are you going to play Dark Souls 4? And I said, what do you mean? He said, are you going to finish the game? And I said to Maul, I said, I'm, I'm going to play for as, as long as I can play. I'm going to play for as, as deep into the game as I can play. And if I get to a point where I'm absolutely stuck, then then I'll, 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 I'll call it. And Maul said to me, he said, I, he said, I'm going to finish the game. He said, I'm going to finish the game and I'm going to kill every boss. And I was just like, okay, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. So I've gushed and gushed and gushed about Elden Ring. What's this video about? Well, here's a tweet by Gandalf Gaming. And he says, Elden Ring is so good that it make, uh, that it's making the Horizon Forbidden West developers cry on twitter don't be upset by elden ring stealing your thunder instead take notes on how to make real open world game Woo! now then you could be saying to yourself right now whoa 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 i've been playing horizon forbidden west and i love it that's not what I, Gandalf Gaming, I believe, is attacking too much. It's the response by the developers. So what's he actually referring to? Well, he's referring to this set of tweets. The first one from Ahmed Salama... Uh, Salama... Salama. Rolls off the tongue for me. And he says, the fact that Elden Ring... Hashtag Elden Ring. So when you're hashtagging, you're trying to draw people in. Because you're, you're putting the hashtag out there to draw people into your conversation. The fact that Elden Ring scored a 97 Metacritic is proof that reviewers don't give a flaming poop about game UX. My life is a lie. Who is Ahmed Salama? Well, he's somebody who's got his tweets protected now. Because he wanted people to join in the conversation. And when they were saying things that he didn't like, he ran like a bitch and protected his Twitter account. He did that typical sling mud over the wall. And then when people slung mud back, he cried oppression. Oh! Protect my tweets, please! But who does he work for? Oh, he's the UX director at Ubisoft. Wow, that's interesting. What games have you worked on? Uh, Why well, Horizon Zero Dawn. Horizon Zero Dawn, which just so happens to have a sequel out uh, just before Elden Ring came out. What a surprise. So how else did this conversation go? Rebecca Fernandez O'Shea jumps in with, 
nor PC graphics stability and performance, apparently. Well, apart from the, the small instances which I mentioned earlier in the video, legit, the games run like a dream. On my PC? Uh, yeah, I've got an i9 processor. I'm running a, a, a 2080 Ti graphics card, so I'm not even in 3000 series. And it's, uh, I'm running it at maximum. I'm running it at maximum level as well. So performance has been fine. Graphics look beautiful. Graphics look absolutely beautiful. This is a gorgeous looking game. And performance. That's a little bitchy. So who's Rebecca? Well, Rebecca is uh, a graphics programmer at Nixus Software. And Nixus Software, by the way, their mantra is technical video game studio making games better since 1999 or bitching about games in 2022. Uh, excellent games that you're jealous of. And then finally, Horizon Forbidden Blake says, no quest design, really? And who is Horizon Forbidden Blake? Well, he's somebody that's just also protected his Twitter account as well. Another cowardly bitch. So what's his job? He's the senior quest designer at Guerrilla Games on Horizon Forbidden West. What another champion. Okay. Now, before people get mad, look, I've got nothing against Horizon Forbidden West at all. I really enjoyed Horizon Zero Dawn. But when I saw the details on Horizon Forbidden West, all the stupidity surrounding the masculation of Aloy, because currently in today's age, femininity is uh, looked upon down, looked down upon. Masculinity, of course, is now called toxic masculinity men are acting women are acting like men and men are acting like women by these people why um because they're fucking mental there's nothing wrong with femininity femininity is not a weakness there's nothing wrong with masculinity masculinity is not a weakness they've got it into their their crazy ideological brains that this is the case and instead of calling them woke, let's just call it what it is. Hubris. Egomaniacs out of control. If Elden Ring was a complete flop and a failure, then, you know, maybe I could see a little bit of uh, salt, a little bit of tea being spilt, a little bit of uh, dissing going on because it had everything going from it for it. It's a From Software game. Uh, it's a Soulsborne game. It's got a built-in audience ready to go. Um, it's con it had contributions from Jor Martin. Take that as what you will. So when you have all of that going for you, and if the game was a failure, sure, then I could see a little bit of oopsie doopsies. But this game has been a roaring success. And even though I really enjoyed Horizon Zero Dawn from what I've seen of Horizon Forbidden West and I watched people stream it, it just looks identical. And so I'm not stimulated to play it. I'm not stimulated to pay full price for a, a single player game that looks like it's, and I don't mean it's disrespectfully, but it just looks like Horizon Zero Dawn DLC. Well, I mean, a, a huge DLC. But that's, that's just that. So I might as well wait for the game to come down substantially in price and I'm in no rush to play. Whereas Elden Ring offered me something different from a Soulsborne game. Linear progression gone. This is open world. Do what you want. We have a storyline that you can follow as well. But you've got the freedom to go out and... and do whatever you see fit. And I have thoroughly enjoyed it. So maybe before you open your big fat mouths on Twitch, twat, 
maybe read, read the room a little bit. Maybe realize that this game has been massively successful and people are thoroughly enjoying it. And all the, Yes, I, I, I will absolutely agree that there were some uh, glitches in the first couple of days or so. But since then, it's been tidied up. It happens. Being uh, jealous of your competition like this, as you so like to say in your little bubble, not a good look. Not a good look at all. Grow up. Hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and YouTube for live streaming. Links are in the description box down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.